The Supreme Court struck a blow to affirmative action at colleges and universities across the country, ruling it unlawful in the admissions process. Writing for the court's majority, Chief Justice John Roberts said that Harvard and the University of North Carolina's race-conscious admissions programs violate the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. Lawsuits against the schools allege the policies discriminated against white and Asian American applicants. Today, the court said the way to end racial discrimination is to stop taking race into account. In her dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote the decision rolls back decades of precedent and momentous progress. And in a separate dissent, Justice Katanji Brown Jackson, the court's first black female justice, called the decision a tragedy for us all. Universities who have been bracing for this decision have begun thinking of alternative ways to increase diversity on campus. So we might see colleges and universities put more weight, for instance, on um, where did you grow up? Do your parents have graduate degrees? What zip code did you grow up in? The Supreme Court upheld using race as a factor in college admissions programs as recently as 2016, but that was before the court's makeup moved sharply to the right with a 6-3 conservative majority. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, the Supreme Court.